this is the salvation. The kind of work that I do represents the sort of fundamental measurement and understanding of chemistry that chemists use in terms of trying to understand how to do things better. John Brownman's exploration of chemical reactions often finds him looking at molecules in a vacuum. Molecules have structures, and the structures can be modified, and their uh, chemical reactivity depends on the structure. And what we've tried to do is to separate those two factors. His insight advanced scientific knowledge by demonstrating the differences in chemical reactivity when molecules are found in a solvent and when such a medium is absent. The science of chemistry is, is not completely, it's not, not in, completely empirical in the sense of, of just remembering that something is, is good and that something else is bad, but understanding why something is good so that if you want to do something new, you have a reasonably good idea of how to think about a problem that hasn't been done before. In a research career spent entirely at Stanford University, Brownman also gives time and focus to his students. One of the things I think that everybody in my business really gets a, a huge amount of pleasure from is the graduate students with whom one, one works. I had a great mentor as a graduate student, and I've tried to emulate him as much as I can in terms of allowing students to develop in their own way because often different students will do better at something than another.